Now let's discuss one another algorithm to solve the critical section problem involving two processes. The problem with previous algorithm was that both the processes are sharing a single global variable, a single variable called turn and this variable doesn't keep any information regarding whether the process is interested to enter the critical section or not. Hence, in this algorithm we keep a separate flag for each process flag of 0 for p0 and flag of 1 for p1. Now if p0 is interested to enter the critical section then before entering the critical section it will set its flag to true. This flag of 0 will be true but before entering the critical section it will also check the other flag the flag of other process flag of 1. And if flag of 1 is true, then P0 will never enter the critical section. It will keep on waiting in this while loop, checking the value of flag of 1. Thus P0, if it needs to enter the critical section, it will set its flag to true. And if flag of 1 is also true at the same time, P0 will wait without entering the critical section. And at any time when flag of 1 is false, then P0 can enter the critical section. Now when P0 is inside the critical section, suppose uh, the processor got printed and P0 lost its processor. Now P1 gained the processor, P1 completed its reminder section and then P1 also wishes to enter the critical section now then it will set its flag to true. This flag of 1 is also set to true but before entering the critical section P1 will keep on checking the value of the other flag, flag of 0. Since P0 is inside the critical section, its flag will be true, flag of 0 will be true. Thus P1 will never enter the critical section, it will keep on waiting in the while loop without entering the critical section. Thus while one process is inside the critical section, its flag will be true, hence the other process even if it wishes to enter the critical section, it will never enter the critical section, it will keep on waiting in the while loop. The mutual exclusion is satisfied by this algorithm. There is no chance that both the processes are inside the critical section at the same time. Now while P0 completes its critical section, in the exit section code it will set its flag to false, thus giving a chance to the other process. Thus P1 who is waiting in the while loop will now identify that flag of 0 is false and hence P1 can enter the critical section now. And again while P1 completes its critical section, in its exit section code it will set its flag to false. Thus, this algorithm satisfies mutual exclusion. Now, let's check whether the problem regarding progress in the previous algorithm, that problem is resolved here. In our current example, suppose P1 completed its critical section and hence it will set its flag to false. Thus, flag of 1 is false again. It means if P0 wishes to enter the critical section now, it can enter the critical section. But suppose P0 runs very slow and it is still in its reminder section. It hasn't completed the reminder section. Hence P0 doesn't wish to enter the critical section now. But P1 executes very fast and it completed its reminder section and it needs to enter the critical section again. Then. It will set its flag to true once more, showing that it needs to enter the critical section again. Now it checks the other flag, flag of 0. Since flag of 0 is set to false, P1, if it, if it wishes to enter the critical section again, it can enter the critical section. It means while the critical section is free and if one process wishes to enter the critical section, the other process 
who is in its reminder section is not blocking the progress. A process who is in its reminder section is not involved in this decision. Only the processes who are inside the critical section or, or who are in the entry or exit section are involved in the decision. Thus, the limitation of previous algorithm regarding progress is resolved here. But here there is one another major issue. We know that if both the flags are set to false, it means both the processes are not interested to enter the critical section. And if one of the flag is set to true, then it means one process will be can enter the critical section. Only the corresponding process will be inside the critical section, ensuring mutual exclusion. But can both the flags be set to true at the same time? If so, what happens? Let in our current example, uh, suppose P1 hasn't entered the critical section yet, but it wishes to enter the critical section now, hence it will set flag of 1 to true. This flag of 1 is true, but at this point, after execution of this instruction, suppose the processor got printed, P1 lost its processor, thus P0 gained the processor, and then P0 completed its reminder section. Suppose P0 completed its reminder section. Now it wishes to enter the critical section. Thus it will set its flag to true. Hence flag of 0 is also set to true. P0 also wishes to enter the critical section. But before entering the critical section, P0 will check the value of flag 1. Since flag of 1 is already set to true, P0 will never enter the critical section. It will keep on waiting in this while loop. After some time, again preemption will occur. And P0 lost its processor. P1 gained the processor again. And P1 will resume the execution at this point. Since it had already set its flag to true, now it checked the value of the other flag. But now flag of 0 is also true. Hence, P1 will never enter the critical section. It will keep on waiting in the while loop by checking the value of flag 0. After some time, again preemption will occur. Then P0 will gain the processor again. But since flag of 0 is true, it will wait here. Similarly, since flag of 1 is true, P1 will wait here. Thus, each process will keep on waiting for the other in a loop. And this condition is called deadlock. Hence, this algorithm can lead to a serious issue of deadlock. Thus, this algorithm also cannot be considered as a solution for the critical section problem involving two processes.